Hey guys, Graham here with Devo on the go. Really quick, um, how many of you guys like sports? You guys like sports? What's your fa- think about your favorite sport either to watch or to play, okay? Think about that. Now, especially for our kids, sports are, I mean, it's an opportunity to, to build teamwork, um, to develop character, to learn a new skill, but ultimately, when we think about it, and especially as we grow and become more competitive, um, the point of a sport, of a sporting event, is to be victorious, is to win, right? You play to win the game. Um, I'm, I'm sure you don't go out on the golf course and, uh, and are, are, are hoping or expecting, well, maybe you're expecting to lose, but you're probably not hoping to lose, right? Or maybe you like volleyball or soccer, baseball, basketball, football, something you played growing up and still appreciate to this day, the point of the game is to outdo the other team. Maybe you've coached before. Uh, The point is to to try and and overcome and perform better than your opposing team, right? To outdo them on the field, on the court, so on and so forth. Um, And you know what's interesting is when we read the scripture passage for for this week, there's a, a similar type of theme. Check this out. Romans chapter 12, uh, specifically I want to focus on verses 9 and 10, says this, Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. That means to hate it, right? Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Check this. Outdo one another in showing honor. Isn't that interesting? Right? The text says to outdo one another and showing honor, showing appreciation, or showing love for one another. Outdo each other, right? Just like you're trying to outdo someone on the court or in the field of play, outdo your brothers and sisters in Christ by showing love in in showing honor to them. And so um, with with that text today, I, I just want to encourage you to say or to pray this, Lord, help me to love more. It's simple, but it's something that we need to be reminded of. Um, Relationships are often not this sort of 50-50 shared agreement, right? It's sacrificial, uh, both in the context of of our our, our marriage relationships, uh, relationships with our children, our friends, right? It's not always 50-50, right? Outdo one another by showing love. Outdo one another by showing honor. Lord, help me to love more. And then finally, I want to encourage you to go ahead and listen to I Speak Jesus by Charity Gale. If you know Pastor Mike, it's one of his favorites. He often brings it up in, um, in some of his sermons and, and whenever he leads worship. So uh, I Speak Jesus by Charity Gale. It's a great way to bring the readings, the lesson all together in a way where, uh, where we really recognize our calling to outdo one another by showing love, by showing honor, to love more. You and I, we can do it. Sound good? I'll see you next week.